Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about something that uh, interior designers get really wrong and you know this is not a fault of their own, this is down to education, um, you know, no education, poor education uh, and also the industry that's ever changing and really um, you know moving quite quickly because obviously interior design is still quite a relatively new industry and it really is evolving quite quickly. So what is it? What is this big mistake that we're all making and um, how is it affecting us? Well, interior designers are using the term project management incorrectly. <laughs> we try to describe what it is that we do. We sit there and try and explain to people um, that we're managing our projects. And this is really, really bad because um, in the construction industry, project management means something else. And if you make your client believe that you're a project manager when you're not, even though that is possibly what you think to be the best description of what it is that you're doing, it's wrong and you can get into a lot of trouble for other people believing that you're doing something that means something else. So I know that sounds a little bit convoluted, but I'm going to talk you through all of the different things that um, uh, project management might mean in the construction industry because it could be general contracting. Um, so what a contractor does, it could mean design project management, which is what architects do, could even cross into um, uh, business project management, which is what you probably think you're doing, uh, contract project management and, you know, uh, well, what I actually believe that we do as interior designers, which is project procurement. So how about we get into each one of these and understand what they mean so that you can understand what it is that you actually do as an interior designer so you can start using the correct terminology. Let's start with project management or business project management. So this is what you probably think that you're doing as an interior designer and it likely is because the specifics of project management vary towards every job and towards every project. And this is the kind of project management that um, this is, you can do any course on the internet to do, uh, to become a project manager. And it's very broad. It kind of looks at the systems and processes to run a project, uh, a business project, for example, but not specifically a construction project. And I think this is where it can get very convoluted especially if you're an interior designer, because we're in the construction industry. So as soon as you use the word project management, it actually means something else, not business project management in interior design. So it is really incorrect to use the term project management or business project management in interior design. So stop doing it. <laughs> Next, let's have a look at design project management because this is what architects do and this might be what you're doing as an interior designer, but I would listen to all of the different types of project management uh, descriptions so that you actually think about what it is that you specifically do because I feel like this isn't only what you do and so if you only do a little bit of this, it wouldn't be the correct description to say that you do design project management. So design project management is what architects do. It's, you know, that's what they do in the industry and it's in construction as well. So in the same industry as interior designers. However, we oversee the design part of the construction project, not the contractor. We only oversee the design part. We do the approvals, we do the managing of the, all of the design consultants and all of that, those aspects of the project. Architects don't usually um, supply materials. Um, they don't usually uh, uh, install things on site. So if you're also doing those things, you're not doing only design project management. So I would be really clear about what it is that you are doing, listen to all of them and then make a decision right at the end. So design project management is what architects do. Next is construction project management. And you can see why this is getting really confusing because construction project management is a specific industry and its own field, so its own job position that um, came about uh, probably in the last 30 years, 40 years, that deals with construction management. So dealing the whole design team, including the architect, including the interior designer, including the um, contractor. So the contractor will also have their um, their trades that they're managing, but the project manager doesn't deal with their trades. It deals with the with the contractor, 
and then all of the other consultants. So what they do is they manage the project and because the project might be too large or too complex or too detailed for one of those professionals to take that, that role on. Because in, historically, the architect would have been the project manager as well, or the construction project manager. But um, these days, projects are, are too contractual, typically. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of different parties, a lot of health and safety that needs to go on. Processes that we didn't have to do uh, in the past and uh, a lot more paperwork, a lot more um, legalities, a lot more contract administration. So these are the things that the project manager will do. And a project, a construction project manager in the, in, in the construction industry, so a project manager in the construction industry, which is construction project management, they are somebody who really is an expert in, uh, or usually a very experienced architect, very experienced surveyor, somebody who has done you know a three or four year university degree just in construction project management so this is a job on its own not something that you could as an interior designer just you know add on to your scope of work because it really is um it's it's too much i mean on a small project this might be what you're also doing um so it's not incorrect to call what you're doing construction project management but i would be really clear um, to understand what this actually means. Um, at, in, as part of this article, as part of this uh, video, I've also created a blog post that goes along with it. So if you really want like written down, uh, uh, like differences written down and uh, something that you can take away from this, go and download that from uh, the blog post so that uh, you can use that as well. Also, there's more explain explanations on the website. So. Construction project management is a term that we already use in the industry. And this is why it's very confusing if you say that you're a project manager on a construction site, because everyone thinks you're automatically a construction project manager, but that is incorrect. So, because business project management and construction project management are very different, because construction project management are specifically is dealing with construction um, uh, project management and uh, it has a lot of legality and understanding understanding of um, building regulations and obviously um, contract uh, contracts, which I'll get onto next, um, to deal with this. And you're dealing with other professionals uh, who are experts in the industry and also the builder who you need to know how to handle. So um, you may be doing construction project management. It's unlikely if you're uh, a new interior designer or somebody who's doing working on large projects because that role is usually now given over to a separate professional. Next is contract project management and you can see how uh, this can get very confusing because in construction we also have somebody who administers the contract between the client and the contractor, so the builder, so between the client and the builder. That job role is called construction project management, uh, sorry, co contract project management. And it's a very specific role that could be part of the contract project manager's, uh, co construction project manager's role. So you can see how, <laughs> how confusing this gets. So contract project management, or we just call it contract administration, um, just for clarity, that is one part of what a construction project manager might do. But all it is, is dealing with the details of the contract. So a construction project manager would typically be administering the contract as well. He might not, or she might not. Um, it depends how big the project is, how good they are at dealing with contracts, because you need to understand the legals and all of the different um, parts of the contract. You need to be able to, uh, assess quantities in terms of how much uh, the builder has done, how much they're going to get paid that month, if it's a large construction project, how much money is going to be released, what about delays, how much extra they get paid for a delay, how much, whether they, that delay gets approved, all of those kind of legalities about a contract that is a specific um, job role in itself, especially if you're starting to deal with larger projects. So as an interior designer, you might be doing contract um, administration as well uh, you might not be <laughs> so you've got to know the difference because uh, uh, if you're sitting there saying that you're a project manager you would be expected to do this and if you don't understand contracts and if you don't understand how to administer a contract correctly because obviously you could 
sign something off incorrectly <laughs> and then the builder might get paid too much or too little and that's breach of contract. So these little details really matter and um, it's important to know the difference. It would be complete if I didn't go into um, general contracting and this is really important because general contracting is not necessarily project management but it is what a contractor does. So a contractor or a builder will be project managing their trades. Some interior designers actually are builders as well so they are they do hire all of these individual trades and so you might be acting as a general contractor or a design builder but um, most interior designers who are just designers and uh, possibly managing uh, certain parts of the project they are not general contractors they will be hiring a general contractor or the client will be hiring a general contractor depending on your business setup so it's important to note that most interior designers shouldn't really be a general contractor unless you're obviously insured to do so your business is set up to do that but um, general contracting is where you are the builder or acting as the builder or the contractor who hires all the individual trades. So what do we do as interior designers if it's not project management, if it's not construction project management, if it's not specifically design project management, we kind of do a little bit of everything. This is why if we call it project procurement it makes a little bit more sense. Perhaps if you're also in, um, uh, controlling the processes that could be project oversight. So I would suggest calling what it is that we do project procurement and project oversight. And what does that mean? So project procurement would be acquiring the goods and the services that we do as interior designers. So all of the resources, all of those vendors, all of those things that all of that stuff that we actually do as interior designers naturally that architects don't do because architects only design and manage. Um, Whereas interior designers, we also go a little bit further. We also can supply. So we supply and acquire those goods. That would be project procurement. What about project oversight? Well, that would be also managing all of those different things. So monitoring the processes, controlling progress and performance to achieve our design. So hopefully this starts to um, make a bit more sense because it might be what we do is a little bit of everything. It could be um, contract administration, could be a little bit of general contracting, could be a little bit of design uh, project management, construction project management and business project management. But it's not specifically any of those things. It's, it's a little bit of all of them. And this is why we sound like we don't know what we're talking about. If we say, well, I'm doing design project management, but it's just project management. And then when somebody already has a knowledge of construction project management and you're telling them what you're doing is different to that, you can't use the same terminology because it just becomes confusing. So here is your answer. <laughs> Call it project procurement and project oversight and at least this distinguishes what it is that we do as interior designers from everybody else. Hopefully that clarifies everything for you. Uh, obviously you don't want to be calling what we do from now on project management. And uh, let me know if you agree, let me know if you disagree. Uh, the interior design industry is constantly changing, it's evolving, it's a fast paced industry, it's a fantastic industry, we love being interior designers, but we also are paving the way for what this industry will be. So let me know, do you agree, do you disagree, would you rather just be calling it contract project management or uh, project management and confusing everybody or sounding like we don't know what we're talking about or are you happy to start using the terminology? Um, pro project procurement and project oversight. Let me know. I'm Jake Krovac. I'm an architectural and interior designer and I run the Interior Designers Business School here in London where we help you to change careers into interior design.